You know, we didn't have a ton of time to rehearse, um, but uh, I remember my first day of rehearsal, we showed up, and rather than sitting down with the director and breaking down the script and going going over the character, who this guy was, they basically locked me in a room, gave me a stack of playing cards, set up a banana across the room, <laughs> and told me to try to cut it in half by throwing cards at it. So... Uh, I was in there for he about three that. hours that he first day. He can do that. It's amazing. <laughs> it blows your mind. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, throughout the film, you know, it was like I, I would go home most nights and be a dork and sit in front of the TV and practice my sleight of hand moves for hours on end, yeah. Yeah, Frank, Dave is the only one from this movie. We all obviously went through the same magic training and applied <laughs> ourselves in the same way, but he's the only one with any natural and, you know, prowess and is actually could be a magician. It was pretty <laughs> phenomenal to see. Seriously, he's the real deal. You know, I gotta tell you, I never felt like the only woman uh, among the horsemen. I, you know, they're so, these guys are just so nice. I know everyone says that when they're promoting a movie, but, um, every single one of the, you know, the guys on this, uh, you know, were so inclusive and I just never, it never crossed my mind. And I feel like, you know, it wouldn't have crossed Henley's mind. So it, it was kind of right for the character. Isla's the funniest one, was the funniest one on set too. She, she kept us going through those late nights. <laughs> oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We did play some silly games yes. where we used to try to guess. It's so ridiculous, but we, we, we <laughs> had a good time. There were long hours. I would say shooting an action movie, having never done one before. Well, you did 21 Drop Street, so I suppose there's some action yeah. Yeah, but not I like did this. not know how many times. I mean, you yeah. put a bag down in the movie, they shoot it from underneath the bag, from the point of view <laughs> of like a bird in the sky, yeah. from this side, from that side. You really shoot a lot, a lot, a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Mark and I, we, we've both played sports our, our whole lives. And so we, we insisted on doing all of our own stunts. And, uh, it was, it was so much fun for me. I mean, I remember while we were doing it, I remember thinking like, you know, why would I want to do these serious drama movies where I'm crying all day when I could be flipping over tables and jumping down trash chutes? And, uh, of course, you know, I do want to do those more serious movies as well. But in the moment, it's just, I don't know, I love the physicality of it all and it, it really takes me out of my head and I just get into it. He's so good at it. I mean, Mark was also, I think, a wrestler when he yeah, was yeah. at, you know, university, but the two of them, that scene, um, it just, it's kind of one of the best action sequences. And what I love about this movie is we didn't really rely on CGI. As Dave says, I mean, he had the skills, fortunately, and so did Mark to make that scene look so phenomenal. I mean, I, I just think, I love this movie and I'm so proud of it because we, everything you really see us do, aside from the odd special effect, we actually do and a magician could do and I think that's right. what people want during the summer they want they want to be surprised and refreshed and and they want to break from the aliens and the super and the superheroes oh gosh I'm gonna go for we, we, uh, I think we both have to go for the hand game yeah the hand <laughs> game <laughs> so let's it's very intricate so try to play very close <laughs> attention so we would all put a hand